So EA have just announced the Premier League team of the season. In this video, we're going to discuss the players, the ratings, and also the SBCs that are coming. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor, IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description. And if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. So let's begin the conversation, shall we? To start off with, um, I believe EA have announced this today because um, I believe they are participating in the Blackout Weekend where a lot of companies are coming off social media. So um, I think that's why they've put it out. A lot of people are also saying maybe it's to try get ahead of leakers, but I don't actually think that's the case. Anyway, we're here to focus on the team, so let's do that. Now, I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. What are your initial thoughts on the ratings of these players? I think they're a bit low. I think they definitely should have been higher. But um, I guess this means that we're probably be going to get in some big promotions after team of the season. Um, a lot of them may be relating to the Euros. So uh, maybe they're saving higher rated spots for them. But I still feel like players like, especially like Gundogan, I really feel like he should have been higher. He's had a terrific season. And like these kind of cards, Bruno and KDB, just seem a bit pointless because obviously the team of the year cards are better. And by the way, um, it's like 20 past 6 right now. Um, team Dia Bruno has gone up a million coins on PlayStation. So uh, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? Anyway, let's uh, start looking through these players, shall we? In fact, before we chat about the people that are going into packs, let's talk about um, an SBC that's coming. Right now, if you go to Concepts and search Gareth Bale, you will find a 90 rated flashback variant. Now, I don't know if this will still be available when this video goes up, but at the time of recording, it's there. Um, so, yeah, we're getting a flashback Gareth Bale. We uh, all know this now, and it looks like a decent item. I do have to say the dribbling doesn't look anything too special, though. And with Bale being a tallish player, I think we all know he's going to be a bit slow on the turn. But this could be a really nice item. Hopefully, it's not too overpriced. In the comments below, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What is your price prediction on this flashback Gareth Bale? Also worth mentioning, I don't know for sure that this is coming tomorrow. I don't think any of us do. Um, it could come out at any point during this Premier League team of the season week. So uh, maybe it'll be tomorrow, maybe it won't. We'll just have to wait and see. Nonetheless, as I say, price predictions, drop them down below. Before we talk about the players that are going into packs, we do have a Patrick Bamford who is actually going to be the objective player. He actually looks like he's been given quite a nice boost, so that is good to see. And like I said in my team of the season predictions, definitely a deserved item for me. Just a shame it doesn't appear to have boosted the weak foot. That would have been quite good. And there's also Rodri who I'm going to assume is coming as an SBC, although I don't know for sure, but I'd imagine that is how he's coming out since Bamford is the objective. And this is actually quite a nice card and it'll be good for linking up teams as well obviously with him being Spanish in the Premier League anyway let's get on to the more important stuff and that is EA's selection for the Premier League team of the season now we'll discuss ratings later on in the video like I've already touched on I think they're low definitely think they should have been higher but whatever let's now talk about player selection because for me there's a couple of players missing which I feel like should have been in for a start I think Emi Martinez is very unfortunate to miss out he's had a terrific year for Aston Villa saved them many points um, with his goalkeeping stops and um, there's also players like John Stones I don't know how he hasn't got in to be honest that's quite a surprising one for me and also one of the biggest shocks for me is Yuri Tielemans not getting in and EA have picked Fofana instead now nothing against Fofana he's had a good season but has he had a terrific season compared to other players no like that selection is very very odd to me and it's one of the ones that I think are most dubious um, as I say, I feel like most Leicester fans will agree with me that uh, Yuri should have been selected over him, but whatever, it is what it is. Anyway, let's go through these players, shall we? Um, let's start with Gundogan. Like I've already touched on, definitely should have been higher rated for me, but still been given quite a nice, fairly well-rounded card. But as I say, just that overall rating, it should have been higher, it really, really should have. Edison looks solid, love his inform in this game, so we're definitely looking forward to trying out this team this season blue item. I'm sure Chelsea fans will be very happy to see Mason Mount get in there, and he's been given a very, very good looking attacking mid item as well. Four star weak foot as well, and um, that could be a great card. Ruben Diaz in there, what's his pace compared to his uh, future stars? It looks like a plus seven, so that's definitely notable. And his def def defending and physical stats look awesome, so um, yeah, what are you going to put on this guy, chem star wise? Is Shadow just a waste in terms of defensive stats? Because obviously, you want the pace boost, but um. 
yeah, I think I think I would go with Shadow to be honest. Max out um, them defensive stats and give him elite pace. That'll make for a ridiculously good um, centre back item. What other defenders have we got? We've got Fafana, like we've already discussed. We've also got Luke Shaw, who's been given a nice card, but not a great one. Once again, we come back to the overall ratings. I feel like considering he's got an 86 rated in form, that this team of the season cards upgrade kind of sucks. Like he 100% deserves his spot, but the card that EA have given him, like. For what it is, isn't that great. Like he should be rated higher in my opinion. I think that's a bit harsh on EA's part. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Uh, I think we all knew Suchek was going to get a pretty special item, and he has done. Um, 87 in his previous inform, and uh, obviously his team season card looking like this. Once again, looks like a great card, but uh, the three star weak foot is pretty limiting, and this pace split is not ideal in the slightest. So uh, yeah, going to be interesting to see how that card performs in game. Does anyone else feel like West Ham have also been hard done by by only getting one player in? They've had a remarkable season, yet they've only got one player in the team this season. Um, arguably could have had a defender in there, um, and obviously uh, Jesse Lingard should be considered for maybe a moments card too. And maybe he'll still get that, who knows, we'll have to wait and see. Um, who else do I want to talk about? Uh, Hyunmin Sun's in there, um, getting his usual team this season item, which I'm sure is going to be insane, especially with that 5 star weak foot. And uh, we've also got Rashford who is just broken in this game, so I'm sure this blue card is going to be pretty mad. Now, obviously, with this team coming out tomorrow, um, I do want you guys to let me know which players you want to see player reviews on. And tomorrow, as I say, as I normally do, I will try and get as many out as I possibly can. So uh, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Now, before we end this video, I actually just want to do some final few comparisons in regard to the player ratings. Let's start with this Luke Shaw card, because like I said, the stats on it just aren't that good. Like, this card has not been given a good upgrade at all. And when you compare that to, like, Regulon, who we've already got available, like, these two are both 89 overalls, which doesn't seem correct to me, but whatever. It is what it is. It's EA. As I say, I feel like Luke Shaw deserved a higher rated card and some better stats as well, but that's what EA have given it. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Um, another one which, um, just EA give him better pace in the rule breakers. Like, why not? Um, I remember, was it, was it last year? No, the year before. So when Ibra got that team of the season card, and the same year he got the flashback card, they upgraded it on top of the flashback, so the team of the season was amazing. I don't get why they haven't done that um, with these kind of items, but uh, once again, it's EA. It is what it is. Um, this is something I also don't get. KDB's been given the same rating as his team of the year. Um, Bruno has not. And Bruno's got so many special cards as well. So this one just makes zero sense in the slightest. And also some of the differences in the card as well just um, don't seem to add up either. The team of the year's got better pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, um, and that's it. And then this other one's got better defending and physicals, which... Whatever, if, if once again, it is what it is. That's all I've got to say at this point. And then we come on to Bruno's card, which just obviously isn't as good as the team of the year, especially in the defending department. And um, yeah, I think that's all there is to say, really. So uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, as I said, do want to hear your guys' thoughts on the Premier League team this season that EA have given us. Um, who do you think's missed out? Who do you think shouldn't be in? And also, what are your thoughts on these ratings? Like I say, I understand EA not like, maxing them out, giving them 99 rated cards because they need some content for like, the Euros. But I really do feel like they could have done better ratings than this, especially for some players as well. Like Gundogan's been amazing this year and he's only getting a 92. That's just stupid. Stupid. But there we go. That's what we are getting. So as I said, be active in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on the players, the ratings, and also, of course, the SBCs we're getting. Remember, Flashback Bale is coming at some point, as is a Rodri. So uh, look out for those. Thanks for watching, guys. Look out for the uploads tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.